Welcome to Late Night Legends, where the hourglasses dribble down to 1971. The four billionth baby was born. China was admitted to the United Nations General Assembly, replacing Taiwan on the Security Council. The first email was sent. I'll bet it was spam. And the first permanent IMAX system was installed. A new stock market index called the NASDAQ was introduced. Neville Bonner became our first Indigenous federal senator. Qantas agreed to pay the bomb hoaxer, Mr. Brown. And the Montreux Casino burned down during a performance by Frank Zappa. Deep Purple, who were due to begin recording at the casino, watched from their hotel across Lake Geneva and were inspired to write, Smoke on the Water. Mm, 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 mm. In 1971, Joe Frazier and Muhammad Ali met for the first time, victory going to Frazier. Good news for South Sydney and Hawthorne, not so good for the Wallabies, who were crushed by the Springboks while violent anti-apartheid demonstrations raged. In the world game, Australia shared a series with Israel in what was a significant year for Australian football. 1971 was the year that the Socceroos was officially adopted as the name for the Australian men's team, and the English Football Association sent a team to Australia for a couple of representative matches. Captain Socceroo Johnny Warren was injured and a new skipper was found in rugged South Coast defender Peter Wilson. Let's head to Melbourne's Olympic Park and Martin Royal. Welcome to International Soccer from Olympic Park, Melbourne, the second of two unofficial internationals between the FA11 from England and Australia. And as a result of uh, some showery rain over the last few days here in Melbourne, Olympic Park is likely to be on the heavy side this afternoon. Let's have a look at the two teams before the kickoff. England today are fielding the same team as they played in the first of the internationals last week in Sydney, with Peter Grummet of Sheffield Wednesday in goal. At right back, number two, Peter Heinley of Knott's Forest. Number five, the centre half, Alan Stevenson of West Ham United. Alongside him, number six, Keith Eddy of Watford. And out on the left, left back, Peter Wall, number three of Crystal Palace. Mike Keane, the captain, number four at right half. Playing in the middle of the centre line, Mike Mills at number eight. Norman Piper out on the left on the field of play, number seven. Norman Piper from Portsmouth. And the three strikers, Chilton, number nine from Hull City. Dave Watson, who holds his place. Uh, in, uh, he played in place of Wagstaff last week. He's still there, number 10, Watson. And number 11, Chris Garland of Bristol City. Australia, again playing the same team as lined up in the first of the two internationals in Sydney last week. Jack Riley of St. George in goal. George Keith of the Appia Club. Number two at right back, Peter Wilson, the captain. Number three of South Coast United. Number four is John Watkins of Harkara. Number five, Cole Curran at left back from Marconi. And the midfield players are number six, Jim Rooney of Prague. Number seven, Ray Richards of Marconi. And number eight, Ray Butts of Harkara. And the three strikers on the right, Georgie Blues, number nine from Appia. Number 10, Adrian Alston. Uh, who in actual fact will be playing out on the left there on the field of play to our right and at centre striker is Otti Abonyi from St George. Now you'll notice that again that the Australian team is made up of New South Wales players and we're kicking off now. Referee Mr Jeff Harrison has the game underway and England defending the goal to our left in the first half and Australia in their green shirts and uh, yellow shorts the goal to our right. The opening minutes of play. Then it's Ray Richards, the long throw down the right, trying to find uh, number 11 down there. It's Otti Abonyi moving back with the ball, putting it back to Richards. Richard changes his mind and lets in uh, the English attack. And it's Mike Mills putting a pass to Garland on the left. But George Keith coming back in cover defence, moving it back to goalkeeper Riley. Riley, who had. Uh, not a particularly good game. He had a rather shaky first half in Sydney, but improved a lot in the second half. And we're looking forward to hoping for a good display from the ex-Melbourne goalkeeper this afternoon. Yes, there's a first foul of the game, a trip there by the England number eight on uh, number 10, Adrian Alston. But a bad, badly directed uh, free kick by Barts. And uh, it's Peter Wall moving play up the left for England. Watkins coming in, pushing it back to Wall and a break there on the right by Abonyi. 
Bondi trying to work that ball back into the centre, but he's got two England defenders on him, but Eddie coming across in support. It's a hard tumble there for uh, Ottier Bonnie after the England defenders chased him and finally caught him out there on the touchline. So Australia on the attack, uh, kept play so far in the England half in the opening minutes of this second of the two internationals here at Olympic Park, Melbourne. A ball for Chris Garland if he could got the speed over Keith, and I think he has. Keith coming at him now, infield. Back to Keane. And Wilson, tall, blonde-haired centre-half for Australia. Back to the safety of his goalkeeper, Riley. Long ball from Riley. Alston going for it, but it's the head of Mike Keane. Puts it up to Watson and uh, mills away on the left for England. Garland's gone inside him. Watson's calling. Chilton out on the right. And uh, the pass from uh, Mills, too deep for either Chilton or Watson. Goal kick to Australia with the match here at Olympic Park, Melbourne, just uh, three minutes old. Well, that was a lively couple of minutes opening there with uh, Australia in attack there in those early minutes. And now uh, England hitting back, but to waste their chances. Into the centre circle tall head of, uh, or rather the head of uh, the tall Keith Airy and the ball going up. Too far ahead of the English attack that time and again Riley sizing up the situation. Alston coming in in the centre circle to Barts. Pass intended for Abani but uh, Wall with a long pass up the left. Garland a chase. Watkins coming across for Australia and uh, the ball off Garland. Watson, uh, Watkins played it off the England winger. And it'll be Australia's throw right on the corner flag. To John Watkins, whose form in the first match of the series down in Sydney last week was most impressive. Play now in Australia's half. Eddie, a long ball, picked up by... Um, Number five, Curran to Blues, and Australia moving through Rooney. Ball coming off number five, Stevenson. Rooney's throw for Australia, just over the halfway. Finding Blues. Tap back from uh, Mills to Keane. Shilton nodding it back, but uh, straight to Abonyi, and then to Richards, and now to Watkins. Watkins, through ball for Richards. If he can get it, he's got inside the back. But uh, I think... Um, the English defender, Eddie, had uh, that situation under control. The moment it looked as though it might have been in the spot of bother. They back into the Australian half now. And a hefty clearance from Wilson. Gives England the throw about ten yards inside the Australian half. It's Piper. Piper. Up to Garland. Return pass. Blues coming in. It's come nicely to Curran. Finding Alston with a flick. Didn't come off. And Eddie comes in for England. Eddie number six, trying to get the ball out on the right. It goes into Piper, through to Mike Mills. A chance for Mills if he can get a shot in, but uh, good play by the Australian defenders, Wilson and Curran. Got it back to goalkeeper Riley. Riley's, Riley's had quite a handling of the ball this afternoon so far, but uh, no real pressure from the English attack. Eddie, right to left back, Wall. Watson with a head. Garland's in front. He's put on side. Oh, what a miss by Chris Garland. A tremendous miss there by England. It was played on by the blonde uh, Peter Wilson uh, playing um, Garland on side there, and he had a goal at his mercy, but he's, he's flicked a foot at it, and over the crossbar has gone to waste the first real chance of the game. Riley then, the tall Australian goalkeeper, who figure quite familiar to Melbourne fans down here. He's played several seasons for Melbourne Club, now of course playing with St George in Sydney. Free kick to Australia, right in midfield, it's Watkins. Take the quick one, but uh, everybody has asleep there, and England are away on the left, to find Keith. Uh, Garland, I think, um, complaining about obstruction to the referee there, turning, asking the question, and in fact, he's got the answer he wanted. A free kick to England, just short of the penalty box. And 
and uh, Mark Jean to take the kick. Riley. Watson threatening. Long ball right out to Artie Abonyi lying deep on the Australian right wing. Bartz has gone forward. That's Bartz number eight. Trying to find Rooney with the English defence. Peter Wall putting it back to goalkeeper Grummet. Seven minutes gone in the first half. No score here. Long ball for Watson to Garland. Now to Piper. Piper keeps it in. No. It's over the line this time and it's uh, Australia's throw. So Cole Curran to take the throw near the corner flag to Rooney. Back to Curran. Rooney on the sideline and uh, Mills coming in fast. Keeping the pressure on Australia on this left flank of the Australian defence. With Curran to take the second throw. Over the heads of, uh, certainly over the head of Blues, knotted up by Hindley. Rooney has it. Back to Curran, to Bartz. Alston working on the left, just the pass for Alston, but uh, Stevenson will get there ahead of Alston. And uh, the referee has penalised Alston for pushing Stevenson there in the ribs as they were going down together. And so it's England's kick, free kick, taken by Stevenson, back to Grant. Blues gets ahead to it, Alston on the left, finally pushing it back to Stevenson, but the linesman's flag is up. Signifying a throw to him. Uh, Heinle was prepared to claim an England throw, but in fact it's Australia's work. Well. Came off the English player, so it's Rooney to Blues. Nice little chip by Blues, but Eddie was lurking in covered events there. Piper pushing it through to Watson. Out on the right to Chilton. And Watkiss coming across. England's ball. Heinle. Number two to Keane. Keane did well to get that centre across. Out to Rooney. Rooney number six in trouble. Pushing it back to Curran. And uh, Piper claiming the throw. He's got it. Into the penalty box is Watson. Could be dangerous. Headed out. Mike Mills. Trying to find his skipper keen, but it's Rooney intercepting, cutting it off, a bad pass by Rooney. Now, Australia moving down the right through Abonyi. Abonyi to uh, Richards and uh, through to George Blues. Alston coming in, but Grummet sensing the danger. Pushing it out to Hindley. Watson across to Key. Piper from Chilton to the head of Keane. A chance for Chilton coming in. England looking for a goal here. Watson goes down. And Australia come away with the ball through Richards. Nice pass from Richards to Alston. And a sliding tackle by Stevenson relieves the pressure. Alston to Blues. Back to Rooney. Square ball to Barnes. Long one for Alston. Can he reach it before it? Yes, he does. Centers it, but uh, Eddie is there. Up to Piper. Chilton. Uh, Watson, rather. Garland moving. And Curran sweeping it to Blues. Leaving it to Watkins, and they've let England in, but the look of it is Chilton. Misunderstanding there in the Australian defence. Curran, but straight to Hindley. Hindley moving up the right, attacking fullback all the time. Curran to Rooney. To Blues. Darts, long one for Abonyi. 
Wall moving across, too deep for either of them, and it's a throw to England, halfway inside their own side, uh, half. Into Eddie in the midfield. Key, nodding it down. Shilton, well, there's number nine, there's Heinley, the right back, number two. Now to little Norman Piper. Long one from the boot of Piper. Headed away by Watkins to Blues, Bartz, Rooney, Blues. And uh, white shirt with Englishman crashing in from all directions there as Australia failed to make the progress they were wanting. Curran with the throw down to George Blues. Ball coming off Blues. It's England's ball. Piper. Piper into Eddie. Keith slipping there. In fact, he got under Chilton. But uh, fortunately, the ball passed right through and uh, he's given Riley a goal kick. Well, Stan Stacey, your impressions oh, of the opening my, minutes of play? My impressions at the moment that England's all out to get an early goal and to set up a lead here so that they, they don't have any trouble with the Australian team later on in the game. Well, I think it was proved in Sydney that if Australia are to beat this English team, they must score in the first half. It's no good leaving the effort too late because their condition tends to die in the closing stages, although they were only one goal behind in Sydney for most of the second half. It might just as well have been three or four goals. Australia just didn't have the physical. There's a chance for it. It must be saved by Riley. Well, that was a moment of drama in the Australian goal mark. Yes, that was uh, Dave Watson, the England striker, getting an open go at the Australian goal. And it was only more by luck, I think, that Jack Riley was on the spot to stop that almost point blank uh, range shot and turn it for a corner. Corner taken by Piper. Beautiful rise up there by Chilton, but out to Piper again. It's a good shot. <laughs> Nasty one. If it had been just a little further to the right, it would have. Uh, been curtains, I think, as far as Riley was concerned. That ball was really travelling and it was swerving in all the way. Now, give a chance for the Australian defence to settle down again. Piper. The long ball for Garland. Keith racing in. And good play by George Keith. Curran driving into Bartz. Rooney, Bart's away, number eight, Eddie coming in, Alston number ten, working on the left, inside to Bart's, he didn't read it, and Stevenson, Gore Wall rather, clears up field, Watkins in the Australian back line, a little bit of misunderstanding at the moment between the Australian team, which is rather surprising since they've been together for couple of weeks now. Alston with the throw, halfway inside the England half. 15 minutes gone, no score here at Olympic Park. A couple of near chances in the Australian goal mouth. Darts to Abonyi, but uh, pass too far forward for Watkins to take. And it's a break by um, England. Number three is Peter Wall. He's got right up into the penalty box. Wall the fullback trying to get the ball across to Chilton, to Watson rather. That's another timely uh, defensive tackle there by George Keith coming across the, uh, the English player there to kick the ball high, wide and handsome for another corner. It certainly relieved the pressure there. Uh, Australia looked really in danger. So we're watching Garland take the corner kick. Nasty one. And obviously... A foul in the goal mouth there. So it was Chris Chilton jumping up high with the goalkeeper Jack Riley, and he's turned his back as he's gone into the goalkeeper. And uh, referee Jeff Harrison was quick to uh, uh, sort out a what I thought was a foul, but it looks like it was a goal kick behind for Australia. Riley with the goal kick. Darts. 
Piper leading the ball back to Stevenson. Curran, the five for Australia. Ball comes off Watson, so again a goal kick to Riley. The crowd here at Olympic Park this afternoon is uh, not as big, I think, as the crowd we had a fortnight ago to watch the game against Victoria. And this is probably understandable because there are no Victorians in this Australian national team this afternoon. Quite a number of players in the team, of course, started their football career in Victoria and Melbourne, but they've since moved to Sydney. Now this is Eddie, backline defender for England, pushing it up to Watson, Mike Mills, Ipswich Town, moving up on the right, through ball for uh, Keane, and finally with the most acrobatic sort of a display there for uh, a fullback. He's a, a bustling, enthusiastic player, this hind leg, moving up into the attack all the time. And here's the long throw, but uh, the referee has signaled a foul throw, and so it'll be Australia's turn, and this will certainly take some of the pressure off the Australian defence now with Curran. Curran. Mills lying back, putting it into Piper. Up to Garland, who came in from an offside position. Watson through to Garland. Watkins is there. And that was uh, a rather wild shot from Mike Mills. He's given uh, Keith a bit of a chase for the ball, but a throw in to Australia. About uh, six or seven yards. The referee thinks it's a bit closer to the corner play. Keith. Bonny race again, slipping in the on the slippery surface there. Back to Eddie. Watkiss. Keith. And again, Keith to the rescue. The lone Australian there is Alston, but uh, Stevenson pushing it back to Eddie, and Eddie driving upfield with the English forwards running back to avoid the offside. and Wall go up together. It's Garland and his adversary is Richards, number seven. But it was Keith who pushed the ball back off Garland into touch. Richards with the throw on the halfway for Australia. Long one intended for a Bonny. Wall gets his head to it. And uh, this time perhaps Richards will try one into the goal mouth itself. Flurry of heads and uh, through to Watson, the long ball to Chilton. Curran ch challenging. Hindley, number two. Back to Stevenson. Garland working in the middle with Keith attached to him like a leech. But it's Piper picking it out to Watson. Bonny coming back almost took the ball off him. Long ball now from Watson. Too far ahead of Chilton. And uh, another goal kick to Australia. But after the initial burst of two or three minutes when Australia had the ball in England's half, it's been mainly England on the attack. And using these long balls from the defence, the Australian defence in a fair amount of bother there on this particularly slippery Olympic Park surface this afternoon. There's another long one coming up for Chilton. Watkins putting a boot out. Piper puts it up in the air, headed forward by Richards, Abonyi coming in from the right to Alston, back to Abonyi, out to Bartz. Curran, Abonyi, Bartz, Blues. And uh, Curran trying to keep the ball moving down the left with a free kick coming up for that foul on Curran. So the kick will be taken just inside the England half. In the 22nd minute, no score. Ed is head to Rooney. No one out there on the right. Keith having to raise across. And Alston selling the dummy. Crashing tackle by the England defender Peter Wall. Given away a corner. 
This, I think, is Australia's first corner of the match. Yes, this is their first corner coming up. This is the first time they've been as close to the England goal for this last 15 minutes. As you've said, Marvin, they've been hard-pressed in defence. This is Blues with the corner. Richards coming in, trying to get a shot in, but the ball cleared by the England defence. And Australia now will have to work from the position further back. Curran and uh, Heinley coming right over the back of uh, Abanyi. Up off the boot of Keith, headed forward by Eddie to Watson. Garland going up the middle. Wilson heading back, picked up by Chilton. Out on the left. Ball coming back to Chilton. Ahead of him, Chilton, but Garland must be offside. Garland working in front of the Australian defence there as Chilton's header came through. 24 minutes, no score at Olympic Park. Australia nil, English FA 11 nil. And again, Eddie the sweeper. Up to Keane and back to Mills. A long ball for Mills going up with Keith making quite certain that um, crosses the goal line. And Riley's goal kick again. Well, once again, the, the deciding advantage that the English players have, apart from their footwork and speed, is certainly their headwork up in the air. It's saving them a lot of work of running around, and their headwork is, is tremendous. It was a good example with Wall getting up nicely there to knock that, that ball away from uh, Abanyi. Keith now with the throw. Just short of the halfway, about five yards. Abanyi trying to work down the right. It's gone through to Eddie, and... Uh, it's uh, Oti, Oti Obani, who accidentally got hit on the head then. He lowered his head, and uh, he clashed there with one of the English defenders. He looks all right, though. He shook his head there for a couple of seconds. Mr. Harrison's given the free kick and uh, headed away on the 18-yard line by Stevenson. Again from Stevenson to Piper. Piper decides to push it back to run it. Out to Wall. Bonnie chasing, pass in to Mills, but uh, Bonnie got it to Richards. And Alston, at the moment that Richards drove that ball down, Alston was just a fraction in front of Eddie. The linesman on the far side, right up with the play. So this will give Eddie a chance to again put the Englishman on the attack. Chilton signalling there, back up near the 18-yard line. Garland's header comes to Bartz, puts in Rooney to Obanyi. And uh, Piper again in the midfield, breaking up another Australian attack. The long ball from Keane this time. Through to Watson. Watson to Piper. Garland calling for it in the middle. What's uh, what kiss? Whether he let that through deliberately, I don't know. Keith may have called for it. This is Blues. George Blues on the move. Inside to Bartz. To Rooney. Young ball to Abani. Richards. Alston out there. Abani return pass. Can Alston get the return? No, it's Keane in defence and Keane cleverly. Skips it back off the byline to goalkeeper Grummit. Curran pushing it up onto the head of Hindley. Watkiss driving it down to Bart. He's well did. Bring it across to George Blues. Rooney starting the move on the left, but he's got the speed of Piper coming at him. That pass came from Blues a little bit quickly there for Rooney to really get into stride, and uh, Piper was able to come across and claim him and uh, give Australia a throw. So it's Rooney to Blues, trying to work the ball over the head of Heinley. Curran, straight to Rooney, picked up by Blues on the left. There's a chance! And... Uh, Richards has gone down. I think it's Richards claiming a foul. 
obviously hurt in that uh, brush there in the goal mouth. I noticed Abonyi immediately appealed to the referee, Mr. Harrison, as Richards went down. Yes, well, with the suddenness of that ball arriving in the centre there, I think it sent the Englishman uh, in defence into a little bit of a panic, and uh, as the ball rolled loose, there was uh, several England defenders there. I think um, Stevenson was there watching uh, Richards, and they all piled into a bit of a heap, and uh, he's certainly all right now as he strides away upfield and uh, play back for the throw, taken by Keith to a bonny. Bonny brought down by Wall and referee waving play on. And now Temper's becoming a little afraid as Bartz came back at Wall. But England on the move. And the referee has blown up the full play back. Yes, this is a trick of uh, referee Jeff Harrison. He is immediately in to speak to players who sort of uh, clash together and uh, his first thoughts are to quieten the game down by delaying things and bringing the ball back there has certainly allowed time for the players to fall down. So it's uh, Eddie to take the free kick. And a bit of pushing in the back of children there. Stevenson coming in. In the centre circle. Up for Watson. Get out of here! Riley. Riley to Watkins. To Rooney. And uh, letting in Piper. And Rooney fights his way cross and uh, puts the ball at the second attempt. It's Alston having to run back and Rooney now across to Keith. Alston on the right wing and a break by England. Looks like Eddie going up the left there. Number six it is. A header in from Dyland and oh and Riley almost in trouble as he tended to misjudge that header in from Dyland. After good work by Keith Eddie the England defender. Well, it looks as if Jack Riley's uh, come out of the goal there and chasing that ball to stop Chris Chilton getting through. And I thought he, uh, he put a hand on the ball just as Chilton hit it. And it looks as if Riley could have really knocked his hand up here. He uh, looks as if he's in some pain on the ground. Uh, and purely an accident, but he's had his hand on the ball as Chilton's uh, lashed at it with his foot. And Riley is obviously in some pain. Well, the Australian trainer out there, Peter Van Ryan attending to Jack Riley. Let's hope this isn't uh, a serious injury. Australia, of course, have got uh, Roger Romanovich, the Adelaide goalkeeper on the reserve bench this afternoon. Riley, who's played in goal for Australia over the last dozen or so internationals. He played on the the long tour of Asia and uh, Europe last year. And he's back on his feet again, ready to face up once more to the Englishman. But the corner coming across from Piper. And uh, cleared by Alston. Eddie. And not a player in the, uh, in the English half at the moment. Riley. Alston to Bartz. Bartz a little slow to get the ball across to Blues. It was waiting there on Mark. Ahead of Watson, finding Piper. Piper to Mills. Mills to Chilton, number nine. This is Mike Keane, English skipper. Letting fly from uh, 30 yards out. Keane's had quite a bit of success with his breakthrough up into the forward line. He scored two goals here uh, um, uh, playing against Victoria a fortnight ago and he's obviously keen to see whether he could repeat this uh, goal scoring feat of his. Riley. Straight through to Eddie. And Chilton away. On the right. Garland gone in the middle. 
Wilson in the <laughs> And the scorer was number 10, I think it's Watson, who's gone down injured. A mistake by the Australian captain, Peter Wilson, giving Watson a gift goal in the 33rd minute, the goal the Englishman had been looking for. Watson, Dave Watson of Sunderland, again, has opened the scoring for England, for the English FA team against Australia. Watson has scored the goal in Sydney. And it's, I think I mentioned in the commentary in that game, it's interesting to note that Watson, who is playing centre-forward now for his club, Sunderland, was previously with Rotherham United, where he used to play as a fullback, and Sunderland have turned him into a striker. And he certainly proved his value on this tour. Yes, well, Watson there, after uh, kicking that goal, he bumped into an Australian defender, and he's obviously winded himself slightly, but he made no mistake with that kick, and only approximately eight yards out, he put his boot to it, and it hit the back of the net to give England this 1-0 uh, lead after this uh, 32 minutes. Australia to kick off. Chilton out to Garland. Keane. Well, it was a goal Australia didn't want to see coming, certainly before half time. As I mentioned earlier, I think if Australia is going to have any chance at all, it must open its account before the end of it. Garland going up the left. Keith. Garland gets it back to fullback, uh, or rather Keane, Mike Keane, the midfielder there. And it'll be Keane to take the throw, right in front of the grandstand here at Olympic Park, which is packed, although the terraces are pretty bare at either end, as you probably noticed already. This is Stevens. Stephenson out on the left, but the ball touched by Rowe. And back to Rowe. Wall going up. Wall is really getting up very well in his duels with Abonyi, and Abonyi really hasn't seen much of a ball in the air this afternoon. As the crowd showing their displeasure there, the crowd obviously thought it was an Australian throw, but the referee has thought otherwise. Wilson. Now Watkins. Across to Curran. Alston. Not much of a chance of getting that one, and it's Eddie in the back line. Straight through to goalkeeper Riley. Keith Eddy. And a break by Australia. Great chance here. And the bunny hits the ground in disgust. Narrowed the angle perhaps a little too much. Alston was in the middle, but uh, Alston was certainly covered. Yes, well, the England goalkeeper did well there to come out and meet a bunny and cut down the angle, and he certainly got his body to it to deflect that ball for a corner. So it's Blues with the corner. And Alston getting up well. A shot coming in from Richards. Blues. Referee Jeff Harrison had noticed an infringement go on there between uh, Alan Stevenson and I think it was George Keith, the fullback, who had been up into the centre there. And he's quickly pulled the uh, playback for a free kick to England. Grummet lifting the ball up for it to Keane. Rooney there. Keane struggling to get the ball away from Rooney, and Rooney's got the free kick. Took it too hurriedly. Bart's now. Richards, Rooney, Costa Abanyi, 
Cox has gone up the middle. Richards, Bunny's offside. And he's back onside again. And as in Sydney, the Australian attacks breaking up inevitably in front of the 18 yard line. Piper coming at Wilson, but uh, Wilson gets to it first. It's Heimley now with the throw. Halfway inside the Australian half, finding Piper. Rooney back to Curran. Working down the side to Alston. Blues with um, Mills coming into his back. Got it back though to Stevenson. Watkins coming across, but pushing it straight to Mills. Mills again over his head. Pushed back by Watson to Wall. The long one for Chilton. Headed down by Curran. And this is Blues making a break in the middle with Garland coming at him. Blues with the pace on there, just unable to break that last line of resistance. King and uh, Wall working out on the England left. Into Eddie. Over the halfway, but right over the head of Mike King. I think he wanted a, a ball that he could do something with. Yes, and well. it's given Australia the throw with Ray Richards to take. Yes, well, the England side are not playing all that confidently. They're, they're wasting a few chances and passes here, which normally I would have thought players of their uh, profession should, uh, should be able to control. There it goes again, way out of touch. With, uh, England just making sure that there's no slips on their, their last line of defense. Richard's throw, about 10 yards inside the England half. One one down the line to a Bonny, if he can get to it. King coming back in defense to the ball. He drives it up to Watson. Garland up front. Mike Mills raising. Riley throws it out to Keith. Alston number 10. And uh, Bonny and uh, Richards, both of them, fail to stop that ball crossing the line. So it's Mike Mills throw up the left for England. Watson, number 10 out there, trying to get the ball across. Richards back to Riley. Piper. And Australia with the ball in the midfield. Rooney out to Abani, but again, Wall coming in, cutting it off. And as Chilton and uh, Watkins went up together, the free kick has gone England's way, halfway inside the Australian half. Right in midfield there with about four minutes to go before half time. Keith, right into Riley. Cut off by Piper, Bonnie coming at him again. England's ball on the halfway. Mike Keane, the England captain. And the referee wants that throw taken a little closer to the halfway line. Yes, well, there's a uh, little action on the part of the Australians at the moment. They're trying very hard to break through this England defence before half-time, but uh, with the minutes ticking by, uh, they're going to be very hard-pressed indeed. Ball came off Keane, so it's Australia's throw, just short of the halfway. George Keane. The bond is well marked by Wall. And uh, <coughs> Wall coming in the back of the bond there's given away a free kick. This will be a chance for Keith to swing it 
into the goal mouth. Put Australia on the attack. Keith with a free kick. Richards coming in, and it's uh, off the hand of Gromit for a corner to Australia on the right. Well, this may be Australia's chance. Uh, they're certainly trying hard to break through this English defence, but as you notice yourself, there's uh, at least seven or eight white English shirts there. Wilson trying a spearing shot, but it's uh, Watson who hooks it away for England. Australia's throw. Blues to Keith. Back to George Blues on the right. Well, Alston, the Lone Ranger up front there. Bart's coming through, but too late. Now it's Rooney. To Blues. Rooney. And the English defence closing in, and it's Wall moving play up now. Cut off by Watkiss. Richards chipping it in for a Bonny, who didn't get to the ball. And Wall moving it up the left under the head of the flying Garland. But through to Willis. Came off Richards. England's ball. Picked up in the midfield by Ray Bartz to Blues, who didn't control the ball, letting in Hindley. Hindley to Mills and up to Piper. Back to Keane. Keane, number four. Just in the centre here. Piper in the open space. Watson. Failing to connect with his head there and ball passing behind for a goal kick. Riley down to Rooney. Watkins. Eddie for England. Again trying to find Garland. Riley. Got a height, but not much length. Garland working on the England left into Mike Keane. Again, a chase for Wilson. And a goal kick to Australia. Well, Australia has certainly found it hard, uh, hard work to get this ball up into the England half. But, uh, the tight defence of England is certainly banging those long balls back and running out over the back line. And again, Wall beats the bunny in the air, and uh, it's Australia's throw on the halfway. Richards. Wall to Keane. Richards, uh, Rooney cutting it off in the midfield, but the referee, moving just behind Rooney, has planned for half time. And as the teams leave the field at the interval, the English FA leading Australia by one goal scored in the 32nd minute by Dave Watson of Sunderland. And Australia kick off in the second half. And they've made one change. Tolson on number 15 in place of George Blues. Bartz. And uh, Heinrich. Uh, Grummet going down in the mud there. That's Tolson, number 15. And uh, Grummet wasn't the least bit amused. Tolson coming back and being given a little bit of a dressing down by the referee, Mr. Harrison. And England take the free kick. Grummet. Long ball. And Australia's free kick. Foul by Stevenson on Rooney. Well, we'll see now whether the presence of Max Tolson, the tall, long-striding 
centre forward from South Coast United in Sydney makes any difference in the spearhead of this Australian attack in the second half. And already he's uh, come into the picture twice, given away two free kicks there. And the second about to be taken by Eddie. Eddie back to Drummond. The long ball out to Peter Heinrich. Alston racing across to cover. England's ball. Mike Mills with the throw for England. For the skipper King. Curran. Halfway inside his own half. Finally. Finally his throw. Finding Chilton. Chilton breaking on the right. Watson in the middle. And Riley, an awkward one to uh, intercept. Having to move back all the time as it floated just past the, the upright there. And it's the first corner kick of the second half with Chris Chilton, Chris Garland rather, taking it. The Mills. Out on the right. Off the head of Chilton, but uh, Riley in position. Curran, number five, left back. It's Tolson on the move, but uh, the ball's gone through to Stevenson. Finally. Chilton's head down to Piper. Watson. And Watson, the chance here for the goal. And that shot was travelling from Chilton. Rooney. With Wall taking the throw to Eddie. To Piper in the midfield. Mike Keane. Tolson struggling for possession, putting it back to Rooney. Back to Cup. Alston getting tangled up with Eddie, but Eddie's running away with the ball. Through to Chilton, but uh, Wilson across. Yes, well, both goalkeepers have been in action in these early minutes of the second half, and uh, at the moment, Australia's uh, in a little bit of trouble with the England attackers uh, piling on the pressure and certainly keeping uh, Riley and the, the whole Australian defence busy. Stevenson. And uh, number 11, Abonyi. Stevens has given away the free kick. Three minutes into the second half. No change to the half-time score. English FA leading Australia 1-0. George Keith coming up on the right for Australia. Pushed down to Garland. Abonyi. Working the ball to Keith. Wilson sweeping. Into the head of Tolson putting it to Bartz. And that's about the first full bloody drive from Ray Bartz I think we've seen in this match. Yes, a good move there by the Australian forwards. It's a very quick bit of work of getting that ball back to Bartz. So that he could let go his pile driving right foot, but... Uh, as we saw, it is harmlessly over the bar. Run it. And uh, Curran getting up nicely. Comes to Stevenson. Up in the air of Stevenson. Headed down by Richards. Now across to Garland. Beating Keith in the air. Watson back to Garland. And Watkiss defending stoutly. Abonyi over kicks. Almost let in war. Back to Watson. No England white shirts up there this time. Riley signalling his players to get upfield. And uh, Eddie marking Tolson very tightly. Referee Jeff Harrison was very quick to see that push in the back there by Eddie on uh, Tolson and uh, quick to blow his whistle. 
coach Rooney to take the free kick right in midfield. Well, Tolson is certainly making his presence felt. Yes, he's a clash bodily there with a couple of the South England defenders, and uh, he'll have to watch himself later, I think. Right through to Peter Wilson. Bunny. Wilson on the left into Tolson, but uh, he's going to drive him through Hindley. And Hindley held up by uh, Tolson and Alston finally. And uh, they, they wanted the quick break there, but the referee, Mr. Harrison, has brought play back to the spot where the offence occurred. And once again, we're watching Keith Eddy, the England defender, taking this free kick. Wilson coming across. Rooney heading it down, but straight to Mills. Mills a little touch, trying to find Piper. Rooney, Rooney on Piper. Into Watson. Riley beating Garland there as he came out to intercept. Rodkiss driving the ball up, but uh, Eddie moving across, taking the throw himself. Keane passing it through to Chilton, Garland back inside to Chilton. Square ball for Piper. And trouble here. Four England white shirts in that penalty box as the cross from Piper came out. Yes, it was Dave Watson who got his head to the elbow, but as we saw, it was off target. Abonyi. Wall wor working very close behind Abonyi. George Keith with the throw. Trying to find the head of Tolson. And uh, that might have been. A decision that uh, proved to be to Australia's disadvantage because I think if play had carried on there, Australia might have made a break. But the referee has ordered the free kick, and it's Wilson. Finally, in his own penalty box. Khan moving across, taking the throw. Up to Rooney. Can he get round Hindley? Out comes that long boot of Heinley's, pushes it back just short of the corner flag to give Australia a throw on the flag. And Richards, Ray Richards, the long throw expert, has gone across to try and put Australia in on the attack. We've got a pushing going on there among the Australian forwards, and it's given a free kick to England. Hindley, back to Grummet. Peter Hindley of Notts Forest. Ahead of Watson. Curran over kicking, giving England the throw on the halfway. Piper. Alston out there, brought down by Heinlein. And the blonde head of Peter Wilson nodding it over the sideline. Yes, there was a mass of England players up there then. There was three or four in line and only two or three Australians, so it's safe play by Peter Wilson. Drive by Stevenson into the penalty box. Garland trying to get over Keith. Wilson coming across. And... Uh, Good cover defence by Peter Wilson has put the ball back over the sideline to give England the throw. The skipper, number four, is Mike Keane to Garland. Keane.
And uh, finally, after that fist out by Riley, which didn't look as though it was entirely necessary, he seemed to have time to gather the ball then. Clash between Alston and uh, Hindley. Gave away the free kick, but it's... At the moment, Australia's <coughs> have a free kick. It's um, uh, 35, 40 yards from goal, and it certainly gives them a chance to get the ball well up into the England area. Rooney to Barts. Shot coming in from Barts. Not a bad one. That was on target. Keen for England, number four. And uh, Rooney pinning him down on the ground there, and so it's an England free kick. Stevenson, West Ham United, centre half, number five. Hooked out by Watkins. Stevenson waiting for the head. Comes to Eddie. Linesman's flag is up. Garland was offside. Yes, a quick move by the Australian defence. And following that long clearance out, they all moved up and uh, certainly caught Chris Garland offside as he tried to streak down that left wing. Free kick to Australia. Halfway inside their own half. Headed away by Eddie, comes to Mills, across to Piper, number seven. And uh, Heinley breaking on the right. Free kick given away. Tolson struggling. Wall coming across, and that's Stevenson finally, finally lifting it out of danger. Tips. Watkins' his head and comes to Chilton. Across a danger one here for goalkeeper Riley. Watkins trying to pull Watson away after Keith was brought down just outside the penalty box. Yes, as Keith uh, slid through to push that ball back to goalkeeper Riley, Watson, who was also after the ball, and uh, both players clashed, but. Uh, uh, it certainly looks as if it was a unnecessary tackle there by Watson. The ball was well clear from him, but uh, his bodily clash there with George Keith, and it looks as if I, he's got a knee on the thigh and uh, certainly corked his leg up for the moment. Peter Van Rahn, the Australian trainer, busy down there just outside the Australian penalty box. England leading 1-0. The goal scored in the 32nd minute by Dave Watson and George Keith back on his feet again with the throw to come up over near the halfway line just inside the Australian half. Heinle moving down the right and Watkins turning the ball back or was it Watkins? No, it was Alston turning the ball back for a corner to England on the right. Piper Portsmouth player number seven and the sun out for the first time this afternoon. And a real collision there between Mills and uh, Eddie and uh, Keith, rather. Yes, well, there was the reverse uh, thing that happened. Uh, it was Keith who was a little bit late coming through for that clearance, and he clashed with uh, Eddie, but uh, luckily there was no harm done. They just rolled over and back on their feet again. So, England's ball. 20 yards from the goal line. Keane to Chilton. Mills. Almost letting in a bunny. And uh, Wolf, uh, Richard's a little too eager to clear that ball, although Abonyi really was marked, so there wasn't much probably prospect of finding him with a pass at that particular moment. Keane with the throw. Garland in the sunshine. Across to Rooney.
Long clearance by Riley. King to Piper, and a long one from Keane down the middle. Again, Riley, who's... Could be troubled by the sun in this period at the moment. Well, it deceived everybody. Grummet in the 15th minute. Mike Mills with Rooney with him. Back to Piper. Long ball from Piper. The heads will go up and it's Riley in trouble. Here's a goal. No! Mills, hooked out by Richards. Well, there was certainly a scramble in the Australian gold mouth there with Watson getting his head to it, heading across to Garland, and Garland got his head to it, but Riley sort of sensed uh, trouble, and he just got a hand to it to deflect it and was able to dash out from goal and uh, uh, recover to clear. So, free kick following that offside. Up by Watkins, Richards. Nice pass across to Rooney. Rooney into the middle. Tolson's there. Tolson did well to get ahead to it. Hindley got down the English right. Inside to Piper on the halfway line. Watson having it back to Mills. Watkins in the way. Bart's now in the midfield. Abanyi trying to find Bart's, but uh, Piper was there. Now it's Curran going up the left. Into the head of Tolson, back to Alston. Alston can't get round Stevenson. Into Piper again. Piper breaking. Watson going through, but uh, a sliding tackle by Wilson to Curran. Up to Alston. Tolson coming in. And uh, the free kick has gone against Tolson. Well, it's England back in uh, full attack now, with Australia having to defend stubbornly. Whereas uh, Australia's got to get back into this game. They've got to get their own attacks moving. And Wilson in uh, trouble. Fortunately, didn't cross the byline, and it's a throw to England, but finally could put the Englishman in here. Garland gets ahead to it to Watson, a back flick. And again, Wilson... In trouble on his goal line. Able to get the ball away. Mike Mills skirting around Alston. And uh, the Australians claiming a goal kick. They've got it. In the 19th minute of the second half, no change to the half-time score with the English FA leading Australia 1-0. down by Keane. Chilton. Garland. George Keith coming right across and getting the better of that exchange. Cut off by Mike Mills. Finally. Skipper Keane working on the right. Safety first there by the Australian captain, uh, uh, Peter Wilson, in seeing that Jack Riley was out of position, he has quickly nodded that ball behind the, uh, the touchline at the back there for a corner kick to England. Now England's still on the attack, and it's Chris Garland of Bristol City with this corner on the left. 
Wilson has let in someone there. It was Watson. And the centre of this Australian defence is certainly being, certainly under pressure at the moment. So far they've done well to keep the Englishman out. Watson again putting it up. Coming to Curran. And he hooks it clear over the far sideline. England still maintaining the pressure. Keane to Piper. Back to Mike Keane. Up over the bar of Chilton. As Chilton was the man who got his head to that ball, but he was unable to hit it in the direction where he wanted it to go, and it's popped off his head and well over the crossbar. Well, it's good to see this Australian team still with plenty of fight left in it. Australia's throw, Ray Richards on the halfway line. Tolson held from behind by Eddie. Yes, once again, referee Harrison right on the job, pitching the play as it's, it's happening there with uh, Eddie holding on to Tolson and certainly stopping Australia from moving forward. But it's a free kick and it could put Australia in a good position now. Let's watch this free kick being taken. But I think he's going to try a pile driver right into that wall of defenders there. Couldn't break the wall and it's uh, Chilton coming away for England. Back to Wilson. Chil Chilton to Watson. The long one for Garland to chase on. And uh, Riley saying a little prayer there, thanks. Peter Wall, Rodkiss nodding it down, but no green shirt to take it, and it's Piper, number seven. Another awkward cross for Riley, but he managed to grab that one out of the air to Curran. Tolson moving across again with, this time he's got Stevenson and Stevenson holds him from the hand. Another typical tussle with uh, Alan Stevenson, the England centre half, certainly not letting any player get away from him. He could help, and he's clashed there again with Tolson and uh, referee Harrison's grown up for yet another foul. Well, Tolson is taking a lot of punishment, but he's certainly drawing the fire, and uh, this could be effective. And again, Tolson pushed in the back, comes to a bonnie. Bunny shot wide of the target. Some of these England defenders very quick to uh, get moving into their man to mark them, and uh, they certainly upset the balance of Tolson there as he's preparing to jump for that uh, free kick cross. Grummet of Sheffield Wednesday trying to find the head of Garland. It comes to Abonyi. Richards is down, but play carries on. Keith putting it inside. Trying to find a bonny again, it's out to Piper. Nice little pass from Piper to Chilton moving back to Eddie. Rooney, is he letting Heinley? Rooney and uh, Curran coming at Heinley, who's got the speed. Just watch the big boy. And it's back to Johnny Watkins to put that ball behind the byline. Certainly a, a, a serious break there for, for Australia. I should say that England breaking down there with the Peter Hindley warding off player after player as he crashed his way along that wing. wing but it was, um, as you say, Watkins to kick the ball over the back for a corner. As the corner kick coming across. Comes to Alston. Mills waiting there in the back. And the referee right across the line. Picked the offside. Riley. Tolson moving up the middle. Stevenson with him. And again, Tolson and Stevenson involved in a clash. And it's 
England's free kick this time. Eddie, halfway inside his own half. And uh, the, it's the Australian trainer right down in front of us here is trying to get on the field to attend to one of his players, but the referee has waved him off. Might have a look at the referee and just see. No, it was the England trainer. I'm sorry, it was Wolf McGuinness, but uh, he's gone back off the field now and uh, watching the free kick. Tolson. It's clean coming back. Finally, again, working on that English right flank. Inside to Eddie. Stevenson. Rooney cutting it off. Tolson with the pass going astray. Intended for Barts. Eddie lifting it across to Garland. Avani getting a touch. And uh, Rooney is down, but play moves on down the left. Watson right across to Mike Mills. Mills trying to get round Watkins, and again, Watkins pushes his boot out and uh, gives away a corner. Well, Rooney, who was hurt in that scuffle, there's back on his feet, moving back towards the area of play as we're watching a corner on the right from Keane. No one on the Australian right wing. Eddie with the throw. To Garland. Keith in close attendance. Back to Eddie. Put up in the air by Piper. Richards to Rooney. And... Uh, Although Rooney had his boot up, uh, the kick went against Mills. And there's a linesman stand up for offside against Tolson. It's an offside over on the far sideline there, and it's a, throw, a, a free kick to him. Well, Australia's leaving in a little bit late, but we're getting into this game again. It's uh, still 1 0 to England, and uh, their, their attacks are not clicking. They're certainly being hard pressed back in the defence there by those lively England forwards. Australia's ball. Curran. Head of Stevenson. Wilson coming in for Australia. Back to Stevenson. Two number sevens going up, and it's Richards for Australia. Trying to find Tolson. Alston almost through the gap there, but he muffed it. Rooney. And finally, a full-blooded clearance by Peter Hindley. Putting the ball back into the Australian half. Giving Curran the throw. Wilson getting it back to goalkeeper. Riley. Curran. Strong ball for Tolson. Momentarily unmarked. Back to Richards. Which is to a bunny, but he's taken it over the sideline. Peter Wall with the throw. Piper, back to Wall. Rodkiss, almost letting in Watson, but uh, Wilson was across. That's where the players settled down to, uh, to be in the middle of the field. Both goalkeepers have not been caught upon now for uh, some minutes, and uh, it's a case of uh, hard pressing both by sides without them really getting anywhere. It's all tied up in the middle with players challenging and tackling as soon as one of the opponents gained possession. Now go back to Eddie.
Shilton moving across. Curran for Australia, putting it up in the air. Tolson back to Alston. Eddie cutting it off. Shilton to Mills. And Mills in it. Collision there with Ray Richards. It wasn't exactly head on, but um, it had the same effect. Well, I think Richards got probably the worst of it. He's given away the free kick in the centre circle. Curran. To Tolson. To Abonyi. Garland behind him. And the linesman. Indicating, I think that uh, a foul had occurred. And in fact, the referee, Mr. Harrison, has given a free kick to Australia. Just in from touch, about 15 yards inside the England half. George Keith with the kick. Headed out by Eddie. Comes to Rooney. Both Alston and Tolson. Struggling to get ahead to the ball, and it's keen for England coming away. Wilson back to Riley. Now Rooney. About 15 minutes, 14 minutes to go. Still England leading. English FA 1, Australia 0. Rooney, Barks. Tolson with Eddie, his adversary there, and um, Eddie's won the free kick. Piper, Chilton, out on the left to Wall, back to Eddie, down to Peter Wall, nice movement by the FA team, but it's um, a Bonnie back there helping out in defence. Almost getting himself into trouble. Again, Tolson struggling with Eddie behind him, and this time the kick has gone against Eddie. Tolson is a big boy, and he's certainly got his body in the way there, and it was a foul against him from behind. Tolson wanting the long ball up the middle. Wilson giving it to him. That's the head of Tolson, but no one on the right. The Bonnie was too far back. Wall inside to Piper. Piper to Chilton. Now the open spaces are starting to open up. Chilton. Square ball to Keane. Cross to Heinley. England now in full cry. Heinley. It was a horrible one for Riley, and he... Well, the only thing he could do was to fist it away for a corner. Chris Chilton was right up there with him, and he finally bundled Riley into the back of the net there as uh, Riley was able to get a fist to it and punch it away for a corner. Watching Piper taking this corner on the England right. And header coming in from Keane over the top. Rolling it out to Curran. Alston moving across, but a little too late. Rooney, Alston back, number 10. Into Richards. Curran, rather, Alston again. And Alston going through now on his own. To Tolson, who tried to give him the return as he came through. Keane. No one there for England this time. Wilson sweeping up. Cross to Riley. Keen to Piper. Curran coming in. Rooney's out there too. It's Keen there now in possession, number four. And uh, Garland with a header, but uh, Keith working behind. And finally hooked out of danger by Johnny Watkins. Yes, sir. Attempted at clearance there by one of the Australian defenders. Uh, accidentally hit Wilson and put the ball back into a dangerous position. 
leaving Watkins no option but to put that ball away and get rid of it before anything more came of the situation. Garland working with uh, Keane. Haven't seen a great deal of Garland in this match, and the ninth fix wonders for George Keith, the Australian right back, who certainly kept this lively Bristol City winger quiet today, as he did in the first of the internationals in Sydney. Rodkiss up to Abonyi. Doesn't beat um, Wall. Keith with the throw. Eddie to Watson. Into Chilton, back to Keane. Onto the foot of Chilton, this must be a goal. Well, that was a great chance for Chilton. A beautiful pass from Mike Keane, right onto his boot. Looked to have the goal that is massive. Yes, well, without a doubt there, Chris Chilton certainly missed the chance for England. It's a centre forward's dream, that type of ball, and he's blown it wide of the goal. Eddie right up on the back of Max Dolson before Dolson had left the ground. It's a, a free kick to Australia. Now. Taken by Rooney. Rooney to Bartz. There's a shot coming from Bartz. And a touch by either Grummet or one of the defenders coming through, and it's a corner on the left. About eight minutes to go. Rooney. Well, there was a chance there. Rooney hanging his head in shame. Yes, uh, Adrian Alston there getting his head there uh, to the ball directly in front of goal, but he, he seemed to be unbalanced as he, he leant forward into it and it, it went well wide and back over to Rooney. Keith Eddy, moving play downfield. Cut off by Keith. Piper breaking. Out to Garland. Garland with Keith infield is moving down the left. Watkins coming at him. The ball goes oh, scooped up by Piper. Well, things happened almost too fast for everybody then. I think Piper himself was caught flat footed as the ball came at him. Put over the sideline by Peter Wall. Ray Richards. The long one for Alston. The linesman quick there to uh, see an infringement from Alan Stevenson uh, on the Australian player. And he immediately waved his flag and brought uh, Jeff Harrison, the referee's attention, to the foul. I think he was signifying a handball. I, he was knocking his hand with his flag. certainly giving Australia another chance to get an attack in this last few minutes of the game. Ray Richards with the free kick. Wilson struggling over on the far side there. With Shilton coming at him. Referee has given a free kick against England. Foul on Wilson by Chilton, Jimmy Rooney will take it. Wilson up in the goal mouth. Alston's there. There's a shot from Curran. And a break by England. For the Australian defence now. Very bare indeed. Garland from Piper. And Chris Garland. <laughs> Hanging his head in shame there. He had an open goal at the Australian goal, but only Jack Riley left in the goal there, and he's just ballooned it way over the crossbar. Wilson. Trying to find Alston. He's going to struggle. He's got it away from Heinley. And the rare breaks past Heinley in this game. Oh. The centre that went to begging. 
Tolson and uh, Richards up there, but the ball went past between them. Keith Eddy taking the throw, or rather receiving the throw from Wall. Down to Watson, to Chilton now. And uh, Wilson and Chilton. Chilton wagging his finger at Wilson, but... Uh, Certainly a dangerous attack. Australia blocked it temporarily with the free kick. No more than five minutes left. Perhaps a little less. Doesn't mean much injury time in this second half. Another chance for Australia to get the ball up into the English goal mouth. Rooney. Probably try a chip. There it goes. Tolson definitely held there as he tried to move. That was a bad slip by Keith. It's put in Hindley, but he's Hindley's almost returned the compliment. Richards hemmed in, can't get the ball away. And that came out. Well, the referee judged that it came off Richards. Richards thought it would come off Mills. England's throw. To Watson. Again, Richards was mistaken. It's uh, Keane's throw down to Watson. Yes, well, the Australian boys anxious to get on with the game, but the England players appear to be very nonchalant now and slowing everything down in these last few seconds of the game. Eddie getting the ball away from Tolson. Comes to Bonny. Square ball to Bartz. Bartz with Tolson calling for it in the middle. Has he got the speed to get past Heimley? There's the centre and a bad one. And Tolson does well to get down to it. Well, this has certainly been a much more open game from Australia's point of view than the first match in Sydney with Australia showing plenty of fight in the second half they've had their lucky moments certainly but uh, they haven't let England get on top as they did it consistently in Sydney now this is Richards a long one for Tolson almost beat the head of Stevenson picked up by Alston trying to get round Hindley Hindley keeping the ball tight Hindley the professional with Tolson now running behind. And there's the whistle. The match is all over. As Australia were about to mount what probably would have been their last attack of the game. Referee Mr. Harrison beat them to it with the final whistle. And the score, England 1, Australia 0. English FA 1, Australia 0. The goal scored in the 32nd minute by Dave Watson. Just one goal the difference in the match. Australia fighting uh, a hard battle in the second half, never gave up the fight, and uh, it's been quite an entertaining game, and I'm quite certain you'll agree, watching at home, that uh, Australia put up a pretty good struggle here at Olympic Park this afternoon.